You're asked to indicate the sign denoting a two-way road, which one would it be? A. Option A. B. Option B. C. Option C. Answer. Option B. This sign is known as two-way traffic ahead. It is also called the one-way street or roadway that ends ahead. Which sign denotes a sharp turn to the right? Option A. Option B. Option C. Answer, Option C. Some sharp turn signs have an advisory speed located on the sign or posted below it. What is the general meaning of a sign showing a yellow diamond shape with a black symbol inside? A. A stop is imminent. B. A yield sign is coming up. C. The symbol displayed will soon be encountered on the route. Answer. C. The symbol displayed will soon be encountered on the route. What do unbroken twin white lines represent? A. Overtaking is allowed. B. Changing lanes is possible. C. Lane changing is prohibited across these lines. Answer. C. Lane changing is prohibited across these lines. What does a blinking yellow light at a junction suggest? A. Stop and survey the oncoming traffic. B. Decelerate and proceed with caution. C. Treat it as a stop from all four directions. Answer. B. Decelerate and proceed with caution. What does a discontinuous white line on a roadway denote? A. Vehicles moving in the same direction. B. Vehicles moving in opposing directions. C. None of the above. Answer. A. Vehicles moving in the same direction. How far should a driver, cyclist, or pedestrian halt when approaching a railroad crossing? A. 100 feet. B. 300 feet. C. 50 feet. Answer. C. 50 feet. What does a slippery when wet sign instruct drivers to do? A. Speed up and brake abruptly. B. Keep moving until finding a safe spot to stop. C. Immediately halt at your current location. Answer. B. Keep moving until finding a safe spot to stop. What is the implication of the do not enter sign? A. Only in an emergency can you enter the designated area. B. Entry into the roadway from your current direction is prohibited. C. As long as you proceed with caution, entry is permitted. Answer. B. Entry into the roadway from your current direction is prohibited. In the event your vehicle starts hydroplaning, what is the appropriate response? A. Accelerate to restore traction. B. Brake forcefully to reduce speed. C. Gradually lift off the accelerator and steer straight or slightly in the direction you wish to travel. Answer. C. Gradually lift off the accelerator and steer straight or slightly in the direction you wish to travel. If another vehicle is attempting to overtake you, how should you react? A. Accelerate so the vehicle can't surpass you. B. Decelerate and allow the vehicle to overtake. C. Maintain your current speed and allow the other vehicle to make their decision. Answer. B. Decelerate and allow the vehicle to overtake. Which sign signifies a pedestrian crossing? A. Sign A. B. Sign B. C. Sign C. Answer. C. This sign signifies a pedestrian crossing. It's typically placed at a designated crosswalk or ahead of areas where pedestrians might cross your path. Be ready to reduce your speed or even halt, if required. The sign can have either a yellow backdrop, as illustrated, or a fluorescent yellow-green one. 
Which sign denotes a curvy or winding road? Sign A. Sign B. Sign C. Answer B. The winding road sign indicates the presence of three or more consecutive curves on the upcoming stretch of road. What does a stop sign require you to do? A. Continue only if the junction is clear. B. Decelerate and be prepared to stop if necessary. C. Completely halt your vehicle at the stop line. Answer C. Completely halt your vehicle at the stop line. When encountering a crosswalk or a stop line, indicated by a white top bar, ensure you stop your vehicle before the front crosses the initial painted line. If your view of traffic is obstructed, first yield to any pedestrians, then cautiously inch forward beyond the line until your view is clear. Continually check for both traffic and pedestrians, and proceed only when the intersection is unobstructed. What does a descending road sign convey? A. The road ahead goes downward, slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear if required. B. There are multiple curves coming up, slow down and refrain from overtaking other vehicles. C. Trucks are not permitted to pass. Answer A. The road ahead goes downward, slow down and be ready to shift to a lower gear if required. What is indicated by a one-way sign? A. Must travel in the direction of the arrow. B. Must not travel in the direction of the arrow. C. Allowed to travel in any direction. Answer A. Must travel in the direction of the arrow. While driving on a highway, if you plan to take an exit ramp, which sign indicates the correct speed? Sign A. Sign B. Sign C. Answer C. Sign C. In the United States, exit ramp signs often display a suggested or advisory speed limit. What's the name of the sign that mandates vehicles from all four directions to stop and allows vehicles to proceed in the order they arrived at the intersection? A. Quadruple stop sign. B. Wrong direction sign. C. No overtaking sign. Answer A. Quadruple stop sign popularly known as four-way stop sign. A four-way stop sign indicates that the intersection has stop signs on all four approaches. This means all drivers arriving at the intersection must come to a complete stop and then follow the first come, first served rule or yield the right of way to the driver on the right if they arrive at the same time. If you see this sign you should A. Keep to the right of the divider or median. B. Preparing to slow down, if necessary. C. Keep to the right of the center line and watch for oncoming traffic. Answer C. The sign indicating the end of a divided highway ahead means that you will soon be transitioning onto a road with two way traffic. As such, it's essential to stay to the right of the center line and be vigilant for vehicles coming from the opposite direction. What is the shape of a do not overtake sign? A. Pennant shaped. B. Circle or round shaped. C. Diamond shaped. Answer A. Pennant shaped. Pennant shaped traffic signs is known as no passing zone. Pennant shaped traffic signs are posted on the left hand side of two way roads to warn drivers not to pass other vehicles on the left. A yellow arrow pointing left signifies A. Vehicles moving in the arrow's direction should halt if possible as the arrow will soon turn red. B. You should continue with caution. C. You should fully stop behind the pedestrian line. Answer A. Vehicles moving in the arrow's direction should halt if possible as the arrow will soon turn red. Which of these signs indicates do not proceed on one-way streets and expressways where entrance is prohibited? A. Option A. B. Option B. C. Option C.
Answer, C, option C. The do not enter it means you shouldn't proceed in the direction you're currently heading onto that specific street or ramp. Which traffic sign signifies a slow-moving vehicle? A, option A. B, option B. C, option C. Answer, C, option C. The slow-moving vehicle emblem is a distinctive sign. This emblem is used to denote a vehicle that operates at slow speeds, specifically not exceeding 25 miles per hour. In foggy, rainy, or snowy conditions, what should you do with your car's headlights? A. Activate hazard lights. B. Switch on high beam lights. C. Switch on low beam lights. Answer, C, switch on low beam lights. How should you park your vehicle on a two-way road without a curb, when parked on a hill or slope? A, keep the front wheels pointing straight ahead. B, turn the front wheels to the right. C, turn the front wheels to the left. Answer, B, turn the front wheels to the right. Which of these signs indicates that you must concede the right of way to other vehicles? A. Sign A. B. Sign B. C. Sign C. Answer A. Sign. Yield signs. They signal the need to decelerate when nearing an intersection and be ready to come to a complete stop if necessary. These signs stress the importance of yielding to other drivers or pedestrians to maintain safety on the road. Which of these signs indicates an approaching narrow bridge? A. Sign A. B. Sign B. C. Sign C. Answer. Sign A. The narrow bridge or underpass ahead sign indicates that the lanes on the upcoming bridge or underpass become more constricted, typically with no shoulder available. What factors contribute to your blood alcohol content? A. The quantity of alcohol you consume. B. The time elapsed between drinks. C. All of the above. Answer. C. All of the above. Which of these signs prohibit turning on a red light? A. Sign A. B. Sign B. C. Sign C. Answer. C. At an intersection with a sign that prohibits turns during the red light cycle, you are required to wait until the light turns green before making your turn. Even if you typically can make a right turn on red or a left turn from a one-way street to another one-way street, this sign overrides that rule, and turning on red is not allowed. If a tire on your vehicle goes flat while you're driving on a highway, after regaining control and decelerating, what should you do? A. Brake abruptly and halt in your lane. B. Brake gently and entirely move off the pavement. C. Instantly replace the tire. Answer, B, break gently and entirely move off the pavement. Upon entering a highway on-ramp, what should you do? A, instantly merge with traffic. B, look for an opening in the traffic and signal before merging. C, increase your speed and merge abruptly. Answer, B, look for an opening in the traffic and signal before merging. As you approach a four-way stop intersection on a residential street, what should you be aware of? A. If vehicles reach approximately at the same time, each driver should yield to the driver on the right. B. The larger vehicle should go first. C. The fastest vehicle should go first. Answer A. A four-way stop sign indicates an intersection where all four directions are governed by stop signs. All traffic arriving at this intersection must come to a complete stop. The rule of thumb is first come, first served. 
The first vehicle to stop at the intersection should be the first to proceed. If two vehicles arrive simultaneously, the driver on the left should yield to the driver on the right. However, if two vehicles facing each other arrive at the same time, both can proceed carefully, while being aware of potential turns. A red arrow pointing to the right on a traffic light means you. A. May turn right immediately. B. Cannot turn in that direction until the arrow turns green. C. May turn right if the path is clear. Answer B. Cannot turn in that direction until the arrow turns green. When approaching a green light and wishing to turn right, you should A. Turn without checking for any signs. B. Check for any signs prohibiting it. C. Immediately signal right and turn. Answer B. Check for any signs prohibiting it. What should you do if you hear a siren nearby but can't see the emergency vehicle? A. Speed up to move out of the way. B. Immediately stop in your current lane. C. Safely pull over to the right side of the road. Answer, C, safely pull over to the right side of the road. You are driving and see a road sign with two arrows pointing in opposite directions. This means, A, there's a two-way stop ahead. B, the road ahead changes to two-way traffic. C, you should stop and wait for instructions. Answer, B. The road ahead changes to two-way traffic.